Now, here's another little key. When you're doing something like cash flow statements, the computer isn't too bothered with how you arrive at the figures as long as you have the right figures. So I would suggest use a format something on these lines. It's absolutely vital for cash flow statements. Of course, you can do very slow T accounts, but I'd advise against it. Use your brain, the most powerful thing you have. Often your brain, certainly on a uh, using of common sense, is much faster than a calculator. So what I would suggest for something like cash flows is if, for example, you have to work out the um, purchase of a new asset, you start with the opening balance, you add to that, so let me just, maybe I'll show you this through a little calculation. Let's say cash flow workings. Let's say the opening balance, the opening asset value, I'll go for net book value, is say 150,000. Obviously, there may be things like revaluations for items like buildings, let's say 50,000. You'll also take away from there things like depreciation, let me say 30,000. So if you add it up like that, you see, that's what, 200, 150 plus 50, 200 minus 30, say 170. So what you can say is the opening has become, you see, but closing is perhaps... 190. And that, of course, will be given by the examiner. So that will be given just as these two will be given. So let's go back again. You A typical cash flow trick to save time in the exam. You start with 150. You add the revaluation. You take away your depreciation. And so 150 plus 50 is 200, take away 30 is 170. And obviously, if the closing is given as 190, clearly, clearly, you must have bought 20. And so you can call that a cash outflow because those are additional assets purchased this year. Of course, I could have done that by opening up lots and lots of T accounts. But eventually, all the examiner wants to see is how much did the new assets cost? And because you've purchased an asset, you're going to call it 20,000. So don't use too many brackets unless you absolutely have to for things like depreciation. So if you've spent, if you need to work out a figure of 20,000, that's what you've spent as a cash outflow. I would suggest keep away from T-accounts, use your brain, use your common sense. Opening, a few movements, opening has become, why is that not the closing? Ah yes, you bought some more.